Today I'm excited to bring you the second part of our highly anticipated Nikon Z90 review because the first video was very well received and many people in the comments section mentioned features they would like to see and made sensible comments. As you know, back in 2023, we shared the first video about what the Nikon Z63 camera model can do and its features. And in the past few days, everyone now knows what's going on. We made these videos months in advance to help people who want to buy a camera and are camera enthusiasts to make a rational decision. What I want to say is, if you are watching this video right now and you are planning to buy a camera in 2024, we strongly recommend that you subscribe to Photomica. Before we get into the latest updates on the Z90, let's quickly summarize what we know about this camera from our previous video. We said that the Z90 could be the successor to the Nikon D500 with an APS-C size sensor with a powerful 33 megapixel resolution. With 4K video capabilities, improved autofocus, and an impressive burst mode, it could be an important step forward in the photography community. Firstly, let's talk about the release date. While the exact details are still a mystery, recent whispers in the industry suggest that Nikon may introduce the Z90 earlier than originally expected. So could we see it before August? This is a moot point because usually Nikon, unlike other brands, announces between one to three cameras per year. This means that we cannot give a definitive answer to this question at the moment, but our guess is that it could be released in the middle of this year. One area where the Nikon Z90 is expected to shine is in its video capabilities. If you're a videographer, get ready for some exciting features. We're talking about 4K videos at 60 FPS and the possibility of full HD at an impressive 180 FPS. We're also likely to explore the potential for oversampled 4K video, a feature that could set the Z90 apart from the competition. Focusing is a game changer in photography, and we know that Nikon has done it successfully. Building on the success of its predecessors, the Z90 is rumored to have an improved focus mechanism, recognizing subjects with unparalleled precision. Following your feedback, we'll take a deeper dive into the camera's burst mode. There's talk that Nikon may offer a faster burst mode that could surpass its predecessor's 15 or more FPS. Considering how it might perform against its competitors and its price, we'd say that's a purely positive prediction. So how much will the Z90 cost? Given its specs, competition, and where it could be placed in Nikon's lineup, we estimate the price range to be between $1,500 and $2,000. A lower price is unlikely because the Z90 will then be at the Z50 level. And as for a higher price, we'd like to remind you that Nikon already has enough mid-segment cameras on its side, including the expected Z63. Lenses make a big difference in photography and compatibility with existing Nikon Z lenses, possible new additions, and F-mount lenses using the FTZ2 adapter are a possibility. In the meantime, you can check Nikon's current lens and camera prices at the link in the description. The Nikon Z90 will have a bright and very high quality viewfinder. Expect a 3.2 inches OLED display with a resolution of 3.69 million pixels and 120 FPS, where we will hardly notice any lag. While in battery saving mode, the display will set itself to 60 FPS. Of course, not all the features mentioned in this video are necessarily true, but our goal is to continuously analyze the overall camera market and provide possible insights to give you the right information. However, we would like to emphasize that we have already prepared enough videos like this one for you in 2023. We regularly present the camera models most likely to be introduced by both Nikon and other brands months in advance. If you're going to buy a camera this year and want to keep up with the latest news in the camera industry, all you need to do is follow us regularly. Don't forget to let us know what features you hope to see on the Nikon Z90 in the comments section of the video. Until next time, happy shooting!